Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and as promised this is a guide on 5 great ways to earn credits in Forza Horizon 4. Now all of these methods are methods that I have used to amass well over 500 million credits in the game. There is no glitching, no hacking, nothing like that all legitimate methods and like I said using these methods is how I've managed to amass so much money within the game which is a question that I often get asked so I'm going to go through five really good ways to earn credits within Forza Horizon 4. So let's get stuck in on the first one which is creating tunes, designs and blueprints. Now as you can see here, this is the inbox of daily payouts that I've earned. Now sometimes I don't play the game for 4 or 5 days, which is why the number has amassed so much. But you can see there are some very very high figures, almost touching half a million credits in a couple of days of me not playing the game. Just by people downloading things like my blueprint races, my tunes and sometimes designs and vinyls. Now this is a really really useful method and a great method of earning credits without technically having to do anything. Now sometimes you'll get it really really quick, overnight for instance, or another time it might take a few days for you to get big amounts like you can see there of just almost half a million credits. Now you're probably thinking, well that's great and whatever, but how do I know what cars to pick that are going to earn big money or how do I know what races to design? There's a really easy method for basically pinpointing what cars or what races are going to want to be done in the future. Now, as you know, of course, I do tunes and blueprint events for Forzathon events. So you can see what Forzathons are coming up in the future and what one there currently is. So a great way of earning money from tunes and blueprints and designs is to use a car that's going to come up in the next Forzathon event. So as you can see here, in the near future, there's one called Sand Grown, and it wants you to use a TVR Cigaris. So this would be a really, really good car to then create a tune for, which is what I'll end up doing and, of course, advertising it on here. Or, as well as that, having a look at the individual challenges. So right there it says it wants you to win a road race series event at the Goliath in your TVR. So if you hop over to the Goliath race and then create a blueprint for it, it can only be a quick one that's going to interest people, give it a snazzy title like super quick, easy Forzathon or whatever it is, and then loads of people are probably going to end up using it because they don't want to do the full Goliath race and spend 10 minutes or 15 minutes on one Forzathon event, they just want to get it over and done with as quickly as possible. So you'll see in next week's Forzathon event, I will then create a blueprint race just for the Goliath race which will get it over and done with really, really quickly, although I've probably got one, but this is still a great way of earning credits and getting people involved because of course as soon as they pick up a TVR Cigaris if they don't own one, they might look for a design, so it might be a great idea to release a design just before this Forzathon event and then tunes again, so there will be other challenges on there which might be speed challenges to hit a speed trap at a certain speed. So to create a tune for that will definitely help people out. And again, if you give it a sort of inviting and snazzy title, then more people are probably going to want to find out and check it out. And then as more people download it, your tune or blueprint or design score, it will all level you up. And then you'll end up having an inbox probably like this. Now, of course, having a YouTube channel with a few thousand followers does help because those people watch videos and then check out the tunes from there but you can always advertise your tunes on there's loads of facebook pages for forza horizon 4s loads of groups and forum pages even things like a discord channel or put it in some people's youtube comments you can put share codes on there so people can then find them and check them out so that is definitely a really really good way of trying to get more people to download your tunes and designs and as i said it will bring you in a lot of money now in a bit I will go further on to what this can also bring you because as you level up with your tunes and your design levels then you can obviously unlock some more bonuses which I will talk through later. But again as you can see here these are just various sort of blueprint races that I've created and so some of them have got over 10,000 some just under but the more you create specifically around Forzathon events it will definitely bring people in and it's a great way like I said to earn credits. Now for the next method, which is grinding. Now some of you probably aren't too happy about seeing this popping up on the screen, but this method really, really did help me out in getting tons and tons of credits in Forza Horizon 4. I used to grind for days and days and days using tracks like the Goliath Race or the Marathon just to earn tons of XP and level up, which got me wheel spins and also tons of credits. Now after about a year, I think it was, 
Turn 10 released an update which allowed us to do blueprint races. So of course I ended up creating a blueprint which was a great way of earning credits and tons of XP very very quickly, much quicker than the Goliath race. So for instance I have one here called tons of CR and XP fast and easy. Now what I'd recommend doing for races such as this is using a Forza edition car. Now we're talking about credits and earning as many credits as possible so for this I'd recommend using a credits boost car but of course you can use one that boosts up skill points or speed skills or whatever the case may be if you just want to level up now the best credits edition or credits car forza edition car to use is the alfa romeo 8c which is the one that i tended to use you can get it up to x class and it will get this race done very quickly now as you can see the race I've created is basically doing the whole motorway, doing one lap and then back uh, and then coming off I had to sort of adjust weirdly but you come off the motorway there and back to the start. Now this blueprint that I've created is 10 laps and it takes about 3 to 4 minutes per lap depending on what your car you're using. So the Lamborghini Aventador Forza Edition which gives you speed skills probably takes just under maximum of three minutes to complete each lap so the overall race will take half an hour in that in this car it was about three minutes 20 seconds per lap so the overall race took me just over half an hour but in that time i managed to rack up tons of skill points as you can see above you're just flying through ultimate speed skills and great skill combo and whatever else just by driving up and down the motorway so if you're a low level you will level up a lot during a race like this now I have created a specific video for this a long time ago which I'll put the link to that in the description for a more descriptive video on this. But like I said this is a great way for earning credits in a short period of time. Now I did once upon a time do 25 laps of the Goliath race which took me I think it was about 5 hours or thereabouts uh, and I came out of that with just over 2.5 million credits and a ton of wheel spins which earned me a couple more million credits. Now doing this race in 35 minutes there or thereabouts I came back with half a million credits. So as you can see it's much much quicker way to earn tons of credits and I'm already a sort of mid height level so level 170 at this point but I still leveled up 3 times and earn three wheel spins now that is again another great way you could earn anywhere from 2,000 credits to a million credits in a wheel spin so for half an hour's work grinding this sort of race is a really really good method and if you share it with people obviously more people download it therefore boosting your blueprints up again now for point number three which is completing festival playlist events now this again is another great one and it's something that i always tend to do sometimes i'll miss the odd one out like the playground games events but for the most part i try and complete as many of them as possible some of them are super quick and super easy and will award you a few thousand credits all the tournaments tend to offer you about thirty thousand credits as well but the best thing about these is they give you prizes and cars now first of all we're going to look at the online adventure so now turn 10 have basically changed it so you've only got to complete one either online uh, sort of team adventure or team drift event or whatever the case is one tournament in order to level up your season sort of progress now as you can see here if you enter the league you don't have to win the tournament either you can win tons and tons of prizes a lot of credits and some cars which you can then sell on so that is a great way of earning credits but more to the point you can earn tons of cars thousands and thousands of credits just for completing about an hour's worth of festival playlist so every day that it, sort of every thursday it updates i always try and complete as much as possible now piggybacking off that is number four which is selling the rare cars now you don't always win rare cars in festival playlists but you do win a lot of them and as well as that you can win some in wheel spins or whatnot now for instance here we have the Range Rover Villar first edition now this one has been won twice through previous festival playlists but of course because it's such a rare car it will sell for a lot of money in the auction house so as you can see here I've popped in the auction house I've not touched the car but stock it's going for 6.5 million credits pretty much now you're pretty much guaranteed someone will buy this out there are always people looking to purchase rare cars which is great because it means it's really really quick source of income so you can sell this car and within about five minutes it'll probably sell and you'll earn six and a half million credits which if you've got nothing is absolutely fantastic but you can increase on this as well so again 
again, going back to the tuning and the blueprints or the designs, if you are sort of, I think it's above a level 10 or level five tuner or designer, and you use said tune or design on your car, you can then sell it for more in the auction house. So allow me to explain a bit better. I think I'm level 18, as you can see here, level uh, 18 in the tuner progress. So if I slap on a really awful tune onto this Range Rover Velar, the price in the auction house for it will go up. Now, if you're a level 10 designer, you can slap a random design on the car and then stick it in the auction house and it will be worth more. So as you can hear and see here, I'm just sticking some tuning parts onto the Range Rover. Now, all in all, that costs 25,000 credits. Now, if you remember, the overall auction price of this car was six and a half million credits before I had touched it. So what I'm gonna do now is just hop in a random other car so I can then auction this tuned Range Rover Velar off. So it's a really, really great method, like I'm saying, of utilizing your levels as a tuner or as a designer, which you may or may not have worked on before. So just showing you here, an untouched Range Rover Velar will go for 6.488 million credits with a maximum starting price of 5.898 million credits. Now we look at the one that I tuned, I spent 25,000 credits on it and the max buyout already for this has gone up to seven, just over 7 million credits. So that's half a million credits made just for spending 25,000 credits on it or if you spend five minutes doing a random design on it as well. And the starting price has therefore gone up with it. So like I said, if you are a higher level tuner or designer, you can earn even more money from selling these rare cars. So this is why it's good to do the festival playlist events so you can earn duplicates of these rare cars and stick them in the auction house to make more money. Now, moving on to the fifth and final point here, which is skill trees and perks. Now, I've done multiple videos on such things before, but today we're gonna to be focusing on one car in particular, which is the 1982 Porsche 911 Turbo 3.3. Now, if you'd have basically followed the first few points, you'll have earned enough credits to purchase one of these, and you'll have earned enough skill points to complete the next task so each car obviously has its own car mastery skill tree some of them in fact offer you credits now a great one to do this on is the 1982 porsche 911 which for the per for basically the cost of 19 skill points will give you 300,000 credits now the Porsche itself will set you back 150,000 credits from the auto show. I wouldn't purchase it necessarily from the auction house in case people have used a skill tree. But as I said earlier, <clears throat> if you've completed enough races and got enough skill points, so for instance the blueprint event I created earlier, you'll have leveled up multiple times, earned tons of skill points to keep on using this skill tree. So it costs you 19 skill points to get the 300,000 credits. But if you've got loads and loads and loads, you can just keep on rinsing and repeating this method. So like I said, for the cost of 150,000 credits, you can then earn 300,000 credits. So this literally takes less than a minute. So say you purchase 10 of these Porsches for one and a half million credits. In the space of 10 minutes, you've just earned yourself an extra one and a half million credits. It really doesn't get easier than that. Now you're probably looking and wondering why I've got over 1,295 skill points. Well, a little while ago, there was a bit of trouble with playground games uh, and people's skill points. So what they did is reimburse people with thousands and thousands of skill points, basically just to say sorry for the ones you'd lost. So that's why I have a ridiculous amount. I can't earn anymore. You can only earn them up to a thousand skill points, but either way, I'm not complaining. And I'm sure that some of you guys are probably in the same tree. Now, the other good thing about this car is for two skill points, you can earn an extra wheel spin, which you'll always have the chance to earn loads of credits or a car and especially if you've got a duplicate car you can sell it there and then now like i said i have done previously about three full videos on such car skill trees and perks which i will also put links to down below i did do a full detailed one for the porsche 911 turbo as well probably about a year ago now but like i said in 10 minutes, you can earn one and a half million credits just using this car, but there are tons of other cars out there that you can use as well. And like I said, if you check out the other videos I've done on them, then maybe that should help you out as well with other cars that you might have in your garage, which could potentially be diamonds in the rough. 
But concluding this all, I hope that this video has helped you out. Obviously, a question I always get asked is how do you earn so many credits? Well, this pretty much explains how I've done it. Now, if you've got any questions, you can ask them down below and I will always try my best to respond to you and give you the best possible answers. There is other methods, I'm sure, and I can always do a video on that. I can also do one on how to make tons of XP as well if you really want or go in depth in more of the things that I've spoken about during this video but anyway folks i want to say a massive massive thank you if this has helped you out don't forget to drop a like and if you're new to the channel subscribing massively helps me out as well but apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best make sure you stay safe and take care